Hello my darlings, it's Dion Dean and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a shoe and handbag shop with me slash haul from Thrift Sense. Thrift Sense is, it remains to be one of my favorite thrift stores here in South Florida. I know that some of you don't prefer it. I really don't understand why. I know that it's not, um, it's not as busy as some of the, uh, the other thrift stores in the area or even in South Florida, but um, I like to thrift by myself. <laughs> so, you know, you really want the store to get business, but I mean, I like the having the store to myself. More fun for me. Um, but I know a lot of you say, like, it doesn't turn quick enough and so on and so forth. And it doesn't. And so I don't go there quite often, probably every every four to six weeks because it is slow turning um, but I had a really good experience this time so let's go ahead and watch me shop the shoe and handbag section I was actually there to shop pants and tops but you know your girl has a shoe addiction it just is what it is you know that's why I have Poshmark and eBay so that I can fulfill my shopping and hoarding addiction and just give the shoes to you. That's really what it is. But let's do the shop with me and then we'll come back and show you what I actually purchased. All right, so we are here. Ooh. You know why we start off with shoes? Stuart White's me, $9.99. That's not bad. I can see the condition of it. That's not bad. $9.99. I'll hold on to it. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? Marnie. Oh. <laughs> I love finding shoes. Hold on. Ooh, I like this boot. This is $7.99. Ooh, oh. It's a little messy. I can't see. This is BCBG. It's my size though, isn't it? A nine. Oh my god. Okay, let me in the park. <laughs> so that's sweet. I've only been here like a minute, guys. Oh my god. Okay, let me get my life together. Who are these? Uh, BCBG Generation. This is nice. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh my god, I haven't been here like a minute. What's going on? Who are these? Roberto, somebody? It's cute. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I told you guys I'm addicted to shoes. It's not even a thing. I really like these. I have to try them on. Okay. Let's see. French cash. I feel like I've seen these a couple of times. What's my size? Thirty-nine and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. Who am I going in this? Oh, no, oh, that's really good. Okay. okay, let's keep going. Who's this? Is this cake there? Who's this? Ooh. $5.99. Ooh, nine? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These are eight. These are brand new BCBG girls. Okay. Started shopping yet? You guys see anything? Um, okay, let's go for some red. And they have a lot more shoes to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these all day. What size is this? This is so much. $14.99 and a half off. Mm, I'll try them on. They're $41. Might be a bit too big, but okay. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing over there. Let's see if there's anything going on. In the blue section. Oh, it's coach. half off. It's not bad. I feel like these are still very relevant. Here's $19.99. $19.99. Oh, 
That's $9.99. That's it. They want you. I think that's what I'm in the car. I'll put them in the car. And then I'll figure it out. Alright. Let's keep it there. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, cute. All right, let's see. No black shoes. What am I doing? Michael Kors, Kenneth Cody Action, Chinese Laundry. Ooh, Corsa Como. That's a good one. How much is this? Uh, $12.99 and a half off. I'm not about that life. These are more like flat sandals. Oh, short white. These are like flat sandals. These are twelve ninety nine. I know that kitten heels are back, but I'm just not. I'm not that girl. I need a little bit of something. When I'm running around, like definitely it's it's a flat situation. Small, 37. These look very cute. They're very warm though. These are cute though. 7.99, half off. Okay. Let's keep going. You guys see anything? Oh, for these speed up. Let's see. Ooh, look at these. Jeffrey Campbell. This must be the older style because I have never seen this before. I think $7.99 and a half is pretty cool for this shoe. What do you think? I like the heel. Why not? Put it in the cart. Decide later. I really, when you're thrifting, like you really can't be, you know, picky choosy. Just pick it up and if it doesn't work, then you can always put it back. But all is fair, love and war when it comes to this thing. You want to pick it up and just put it in your cart and decide later. Fioni. I really think they got it for shoes. They really do. They do a good job of shoes. Some of them are a little worn, but... Look at the scenes here, Cardi C, man. Yeah, I remember I wanted these. Not in, this is not my size, but like when they came out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. on the other side. Hmm. Oh. Auto? Oh yeah, baby. This is going in my cart. Absolutely, darling. Absolutely. It's a keeper. Alright. <laughs> That's decided. Let's see. Long for Trump. It's actually very pretty. Worn in the toe, though. Okay, there's actually another side. You know what? I know it's a little long, but I'm just gonna take you guys. Let's just go around here. Oh my gosh, I had these. How much are these? Four to fifteen dollars. I bought these. Oh god, years ago. I had these. Are these my size? Are they mine? Eight. No, I have them though. They hurt like heck, but so cute. The aerosol. Chinese laundry. Okay. Like I said, they have so many shoes. Oh my god. Let's see. Hmm. Not feeling anything. So cute. It's like a fast fashion brand. Yeah. Oh my god, look at my cart. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's half off today because it's it's um hold up. I lost my train of thought. Oh, I could take that to a shoemaker. Though these, they feel really, really good. For three ninety nine, half off. And it's two bucks, right? I kind of like these, y'all. I kind of like these. They're kind of funky. Eight. <laughs> Mm. He 
Stuart Weitzman. I don't know what's going on This is real. This is on trend for you guys who want to know. Look at these. I don't know. I don't feel like going to Who are these? Can you guys tell? I can't tell. I don't know. I gotta do all that. These are cute. See, these are the kind of shoes I like to just wear. Like my flats. Like those two. These bar three are cute. These are different. Look at these. Okay. And then they have, I'm not a big fan of their purses. I kind of should, okay, since we're here. Since we're here, do you guys see anything? This is cute, what is this? Let's see, it's $9.99. Okay, that's all tangled up. This is cute. This played one, I think that is. Okay, submit. Louis. The only bag I've ever found here was a Tory Birch. This is $4.99. It's Dooney and Burke. It's tempting because I know that there are people out there that will take this bag and bring it back. Like, Hadrian is the king of that. I am not that good at that stuff. I'm not, I'm not even that good. I'm not good at that. Ooh. I'm not good at that at all. What is this? See then. Something is obviously broken here. But look at this. Look at this. Wait. Am I missing something? Is something supposed to be? No, I'm not gonna even try and figure it out. I just like this. $5.99, so half off. I'll put it in there so if I can figure it out later. Okay. This is a good fall bag. Is this, is this anybody? This is Antonio Milani. How much? $7.99. That's a pretty, that's a pretty bag. Okay, put it in the bag, figure it out later. Um... I'll put it in the cart, I should say. Let's let's get back over here. See if I missed anything. This clay block. See anything, guys? I think I'm done. Okay. I'm not going to look through dresses because I just have way too many dresses, but I always like to look through the pants. I really like this color, Patricia Fields. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of go through this, see what's up, and then we will go to pants. One quick run through. Oh, vintage. Oh, do I need another vintage bag? No, it doesn't feel like leather either. Now I am starting my Etsy shop, so I mean, I mean, $4.99. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this for my Etsy shop. I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This one's not leather. Mm -mm. But it's oversized. How much was it? $4.99? So $2.50? Okay, let me just get it. Let me just get a face for the shop. Let me do that. All right, let's go look at pants. Okay, so I'm gonna show you shoes first. Oh boy, I already. I'm looking at the bags like, not putting these on sale. I don't even know why. But <laughs> I'll show you. I got myself one pair of shoes. Okay, I could have gotten a lot more. These were just oh, not were. They are so. Fabulous for the fall. This is BCBG. I'll show you both of them. Um, I don't remember how much they are. They put the the price on the on the security tag. So, oh, did they put it on the bottom? 
I don't know. Oh, they were 169. This is the SL or maybe it's a slouch boot. Um and it was 39.99. Um so yeah, I really these these were like, oh my gosh, I had to have them. The thing about it is and I don't know if I can take them to a cobbler and have this taken care of, but it's doing that thing again, that Florida heat thing. Um, so I don't know if there's a way to coat that if you guys like fix shoes or have fixed shoes like this Tell me what you do if there's something that I can do at home or do I need to take them to a cobbler? I you know, I just I these are so Fabulous for the fall just the peep toe the wedge anything that like is ink like slouchy ankle I love these there's actually some actually some boots on the real rail that I have in my cart that are oh, where am I going in boots in South Florida? Yee, who knows? <laughs> um, these are a pair of Marnie. Marnie is, of course, a designer brand. And this, they are worn. But there are some people who love Marnie. And Marnie is known for, like, cute block sandals. Well, they're known for a lot. But, like, their boots are really fabulous. These are definitely an older style. Um, you can see from the inside, Marnie. It's definitely an older style, but it is a designer shoe. And so there are those that really like Marnie. So I'm going to get Marnie for my store. So here you go, Marnie. Um, and these are size 38, or an 8, rather. Um, Jeffrey Campbell. Jeffrey Campbell is a brand that I... In my head, I'm a Jeffrey Campbell customer because I like the different things that they do with their shoes, like the different heels. This actually, when I saw this, I actually thought these were Marnie because Marnie has something very, very similar. Um, but I just thought these were so just different. And of course, you know, with a pair of tights, a black little turtleneck dress, like each shoe has a personality. Like, and I think that's why I just love shoes so much because this one pair of shoes can take take you so many outfits like you can do a, a boyfriend jean you can do leggings and a cute top you can do definitely like a little um like a little 60s type of outfit so yeah i really like these these were or are size seven um then last but not least that is well i didn't i didn't buy a lot of shoes for myself now i will be going back <laughs> <laughs> I will be going back um, but this time around I didn't do a lot of damage and so here are a pair of Prada and if you remember I actually thrifted a very I, I want to say these were the same if not similar but I thrifted these prior and they sold really quickly and so I just think Prada wedges Prada sandals are just a good a good vibe and so you either love them or you love them and people love them um these are a size oh gosh do i know do i know what size these are these are a size 37 so a seven yeah so i love these they're like sport product or product sport so it's an older style okay now i need y'all to pray for me because I keep on talking about this Etsy shop and I ain't done an Etsy nothing yet, okay? I got the name, I put up like one or two things, but I'm just hoarding things for Etsy at this point. Um, I have a bunch of dresses that I need to cross list with Etsy from Poshmark. Um, when I saw these purses, whenever I... Oh, so, I know that I say shoes is my thing, and they are. But there's something about an oversized vintage bag or just a vintage just a good vintage bag and i love the oversized vintage bags and clutches i have i have quite a few because you're not going to see them anywhere and so when you you can go to an event in a very plain outfit pop out one of these bags and a good shoe and it just like it just it, it takes everybody's breath away and you know we're not into a room that's what i go for i don't go for that oh that's pretty no I go for dang that's what you want can I tell y'all something let me let me, let me I'm gonna really school y'all on something cool I don't like being called pretty I don't like when someone says oh my gosh you're so pretty your hair's so pretty my baby's pretty my daughter's pretty I want to be a bad inch. Okay, when I walk in the room, I need people to fall out under the Holy Ghost of my look. 
okay so I say that to say <laughs> I want when I walk in with my outfit and this bad bag I need them to be like damn where you get that bag from but oh my gosh your bag is so pretty I don't want that. Don't call me pretty. I feel I, that's just a bias. I feel like it's an insult. Pretty is my daughter. My daughter's hair is pretty. Her little cheeks are pretty. She's just a pretty little girl. I'm a bad. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, somebody left a note. Oh my gosh. It has, oh, it doesn't have the date on it. Can you imagine if it did? It says something, something lunch. Someone asked me if it belonged to the young uh, doesn't have a date. Can you imagine if I had a date? Oh my gosh. Anyway, off track, off track, off track. Um, I love this. And look, it has the little like, oh, and it was $3.99. So, oh, no, $3.99 and half off. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You can wear it over the shoulder. You can wear it as a clutch. I usually wear bags like these as clutches. I just put the, I never cut the strap because you never know when you're gonna wear it on the shoulder or I used to cut the strap uh, in my younger days but I don't cut the strap anymore um, I just love this. with like oh, a blazer white tee distressed jeans these boots and this bag under your arm yeah I don't want to be pretty I'm not pretty my daughter's pretty. I'm fly. It's blank. <laughs> I'm not gonna cuss on here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. When I walk in the room, I don't wanna be pretty. So pretty. Oh, I'm not pretty, honey. I am the baddest in this room. All right. So, oh. oh look at that. Are these going on Etsy? I've been talking about this thing on Etsy. Etsy ain't happened yet. They have go all gone into my closet. Oh. Because remember when I did the um, the West Palm haul and I got like seven or eight vintage bags? Are they on Etsy? No, they're in my closet. <laughs> and I wear all of them. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love this. It looks like a little butterfly wing or... Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. Okay. Um, okay, so this one I am going to sell because... It's very pretty in pink. I could find an outfit for this though. I say that, but I can find an outfit for this. This is ridiculous. Oh, I like this. I like the layered leather. You know what it is? It's just I'm the kind of girl that doesn't like to see people in her stuff. And so I know I'm not going to see people in that. So I'm like, I have to have it because I just need to bust it out and an outfit somewhere and nobody's gonna have it like the issue that I have with you know a lot of fast fashion brands because I love Zara bags I think they're so Zara leather bags I think they're so well made they're so amazing um, like the Gucci Marmont bag love that bag my Alexander Wang I love that bag but other people have that bag um, especially Gucci Marmont bag um, the Christian Dior saddle bag. Everybody has that bag. When you walk out in vintage, like nobody has that. It's special. It's spectacular. It's unique. Mm, I love that. Um, I know I'm just going on and on, but you, you guys get it. You get me. You my people. So this bag I actually got for one of my besties because it just looks like her. And so I'm going to show it to you, but I'm not going to keep this bag. This is for her. This is the Steve Madden bag. And I just, I love it. It's missing. When I got home, I realized that it was missing a stud right here. But it's, I don't think it's that noticeable. I think when you're just, I think when you're wearing it on the shoulder, I think it's in a really good place. The missing one is in a really good place that when it's on your shoulder, all you're going to see are the studs and you're going to see kind of like this little saddlebag. It reminded me of the Chloe um, saddlebag. And so I saw this and it just looks like her. So I was like, hey girl, hey girl, hey, I got you something. That's the benefit of being in my inner circle. You just get stuff. I just like, here, I found this. Take it. And you better rock it the way that I want you to rock. That's the only thing. That's the only stipulation. When you're, when you're one of my friends and I get you something, whether it be a, 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 a shirt, a jacket, a purse, if you don't wear it the way that I think you need to wear it, I'll take it back. I will. Forgive me. Those of you who are watching me, you know me. You can attest to it. I, it is what it is. I need you to rock it the way that I want you to rock it. Anyway. Let me get to listing this stuff. I pray for me because 
I really am intending to put all of this stuff in my Etsy store uh, so I can share the link with you and you guys can share the love because I know some of you love vintage too but it's so expensive where you are especially if you're in a, in a New York and a California and in LA vintage can get really really expensive and so I want to create like a space where I can take all my fabulous finds from South Florida because I feel like we have the best vintage and put it on Etsy for you guys so pray for me pray that I release these bags onto Etsy all right, love you. We never pay retail. Um, is there anything else coming? No, that's it. Bye.